Lovelies, welcome back. If this is the first time you're watching, welcome. My name is Amy. In today's video, I wanted to talk about my five most used luxury handbags as well as my five least used ones. Before we begin though, I wanted to thank Carl Friedrich for partnering with me on this video. Thank you so much for sponsoring this segment of the video. This is a leather tech sleeve for your laptop. I have mine personalized to Amy in the gold foil and uh, you can personalize it in three different areas. I think here, here, or here in the corner. I also have right here, it's kind of heavy, the MacBook 16 inch model. This is my husband's. It's snug, it's perfect. He can literally just hold this and then be on the go, go to his office and everything. It's really heavy, I'm trying to hold it up. Very minimalist in this beautiful black Vachetta leather. Yes, it is Vachetta, which means that it will age and patina and become super yummy and beautiful. But honestly, I. I have so many pieces from Carl Friedrich and they all wear very well. I got mine in the MacBook Pro 15 inch model because this one is actually made for, well, the 15 inch MacBook Pro from 2016, which is the closest to the size of my current laptop, or at least this one will accommodate my current laptop because um, my laptop is the MacBook Air 13 inch, but mine is from 2017. And ever since then, uh, the following years, they have made the MacBook Air a lot smaller and a lot thinner. This is the next size up from what they have that will actually fit my laptop. Really well protected. And I love having something like this to put inside my Neverfull when I actually want to use my Neverfull as my work bag or even just to bring my laptop around. Sometimes I like to bring it to coffee shop, especially if you've been looking for a laptop sleeve that's more on the luxury side that looks really, really minimalist and really professional. Uh, you can even use it for documents. You don't have to use it for your laptop. Stamp over here, it's just very subtle. You can't even tell that it's called Friedrich. It's really beautifully stitched and mine is personalized with gold foil really really nice like i said mine is in the cognac color they have it also in the brown and of course you saw the black one already all of these are crafted in italian vachetta leather and also they are uh, made in italy in naples they also came in their own dust bag so i got a drawstring one and then my husband got a uh kind of like an envelope style as well as a beautiful card and box they never asked me to show these but I just wanted to let you know in case that uh, you may be interested in this. So this is made in the same exact material as the sleeves. I also have this briefcase from them. I don't know if you guys remember, but I got this a while ago. Um, I can't remember the name of this, but I'll link it down below. And this is a beautiful briefcase that I use for work and it just is so well made, like I said. Um, I also have the tote version, but uh, between the two, I mean, they're both amazing, I don't know. This one is a little lighter, which I like. Thank you so much again to Call Friedrich for sponsoring this part of the video, and let's get started with my five most and least used bags. So the way I ended up categorizing them is by thinking about my past year. So basically from March last year till March this year, the ones that I've really used the most or the least, or even the ones that I just tend to want to reach the most. Number one, the least used one is the Fendi Can I. It's a bag that I'm actually selling at the moment. That's also why I haven't really been using it. That bag was really a wrong choice of color. I mean, beige or ivory is usually very neutral, but it also depends on the tone. That neutral is very warm and I just don't do very well with warm colors. I can sort of wear it. It also is a little on the heavier side because it's kind of like a medium size bag so you really can fit a lot in it. And it's beautiful, like don't get me wrong, that bag is just gorgeous. But um, yeah, I guess I learned it the hard right, way. So my number one most used bag has to go to this Chanel bucket bag. I feel like I didn't get this very long ago, but I I just always wanted to reach for it. And it's so practical. Yes, it's a little black hole, but it's not super deep. And this size bag is kind of small anyway. You really can't fit your whole life in it, but you can fit enough. And this will also fit a bottle of water if you really wanted to. I would only do it temporarily. I do have an organizer inside, so I'm not as worried about this. Uh, but yes, this is one of my best purchases as well as one of my most used bags because I constantly, constantly want to reach for it and I 
really when I had it ever since I had it I really wish for it for a lot it goes with everything uh, it's small but it's big you know like it's big enough basically and also this one is so lightweight which makes a whole lot of difference for me um, yeah just love 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 this one it is seasonal like I said many many times um, so just look out for features that are similar to this if you like this bag because uh, like I said this short top handle and then this longer shoulder carry is just wonderful unfortunately my second least used bag has to go to the speedy b which like i said is unfortunate because it's such a beautiful bag i mean look at it the patina on it is perfect uh there's obviously nothing wrong with it it's a beautiful bag it's a classic uh but it, it is one of those you know kind of medium size uh if it's a lot I almost feel like it's better as a travel bag for me but then when I travel I kind of need a little bit more also when I travel I prefer to have a large tote to fit everything as my carry-on as well as a bag that is crossbody that is always on me with my essentials so I feel like this is kind of still in the middle that's why it's my second least used bag it is gorgeous though I'll probably never let it go at least not for now not anytime soon but um, yeah it is unfortunately my second least used now, mini flap in the square and this is one of my most used so this i mean i guess all these bags are really all my most used um let's just say it's my second most used the reason is because it's the perfect mini bag and i love that the chain is a little shorter for me because i'm petite and my torso is not super long and also it fits a lot for a mini bag and this is just a classic i mean it looks like a classic it is seasonal but it looks like a classic I much prefer minis over the actual classic flap anyway because I don't even own one uh, <laughs> and I travel with this a whole lot every time I travel and if I want to bring a Chanel bag with me it would be either this one or the next one that you'll see but uh, this one really um, has been worth every single penny so far and I'm still wearing it to death and it still looks brand spanking new. So this is the Valentino Spike bag and it is in beautiful navy lambskin. It's just one of my least used bags because it's very dressy. It's kind of like an evening bag and you guys know I have a lot of small bags that I can use as evening bags so I do kind of rotate this a lot less because of that reason but it is not going anywhere because it's so beautiful and uh, it's really well made the construction is amazing and I really do like mini bags anyways even if I purge some of my collection I really don't need to let this one go unless I don't know unless there's a really good reason but anyway it's a beautiful bag but it's still one of my least used ones moving on to my third most used or just one of my most used ones is my Gabrielle in the small size. I chose to feature the black one because it is literally the one that I want to reach for the most. I also have this in burgundy which is beautiful but I just... I mean black is just so easiest to match with everything and um, black is just so carefree. No regrets with buying this bag. I'm just... I don't know. I always rave about the Gabrielle because I really love it. I know it's not everyone's cup of tea but this bag is just so good. Uh, this is considered a mini size in my opinion, but it's a little taller so you can fit just slightly more I always fit my sunglasses on top, which is perfect. I love traveling with this as well I took this to my Montreal trip two years ago in my opinion this bag styles really easily and uh, It is definitely a little bit more on the casual side like not super casual just a slightly more casual vibe than say the classic flap or the classic mini flap um, but yeah, it's just it's just one of the best bags and uh, the chains everything the details on this is just amazing one of my favorites still I Anyway, you either love it or you hate it, but I definitely love mine going forward every single other bag will be black as well so my next least used one is the Celine trapeze in the small size uh, this is my only Celine bag and I love it it's so beautiful it's so well made it's completely leather lined for an all leather bag because even the interior is completely leather lined it's really not that heavy I don't know how they do it you guys have seen my collection I have a lot of smaller size bags and this is one of my larger ones. I would say that this is kind of like a medium size bag, I guess. Uh, but for a larger bag that is completely full leather, it's really not that heavy. And then this top handle, I keep raving about it. You guys already know I love this beautiful top handle. So although it is one of my least used ones, probably just because of the size, 
Uh, I still love it. It's one of the most beautiful minimalist looking bags. Uh, mine is kept in really good shape. Obviously, it helps that I don't use it constantly as well. But uh, it's definitely one of the most beautiful bags and that they unfortunately have discontinued it. Next here, I have my Louis Vuitton Twice. Or at one point, it was called the Twin Set or the Clutch. Uh, so many different names, but this bag also has been discontinued, but it is beautiful. It is made in all point leather. It also came out in the canvas and leather version, which is also really beautiful. So this bag is entirely in leather as well, calfskin, and the interior is lined in this beautiful micro suede, microfiber suede. Um, it's one of my most used because the past year, I guess, I kind of lost my most practical canvas bag from Louis Vuitton which was the Palm Springs Mini so I kind of just went back to this one and I'm really happy to not discover but just to remember that I I really love this bag and there's a reason why it's still in my collection I know a lot of people sold theirs I'm not quite sure why but it is one of those bags where you go back to it and then you realize why you loved it and why you bought it in the first place um, so yeah it's super Close to the body, very thin, uh, crossbody strap, lots of different compartments for organization. And it is big enough for everyday sort of running errands, which is pretty much why I love it and why I use it. So highly recommend it if you want to get it on the secondhand market. Um, they are actually so affordable on the secondhand market, I don't really know why, but it's one of the best Louis Vuitton bags that's ever been released in full leather. My jumbo flap, single flap, made it into the five least used bags, only because of the size again, uh, but it is a beautiful bag and it is a classic, and jumbo classic flaps are not as in style anymore, I guess it's just not as um, I don't know if you remember a few years everybody wanted to get a jumbo uh, so now it's more like the small size or maybe even even the medium large has like lost a little bit of popularity I think people are really into the small size classic flap nowadays but the jumbo is still a classic it's gonna come back in style again I'm sure because fashion always recycles and it's just a matter of time it's not going anywhere not anytime soon anyway and um, like I said with all the price increases and just the fact that if you do sell something it's hard to get it back or it's hard to get back the exact same thing or at the same price I just would rather keep it in my collection so even though it is one of the least used, it does not matter because it is still a beauty. And so yeah, uh, the single flap also is a lot more light. It's not like a super light bag by any means, but it's a lot lighter than the double flap, which I also prefer. Last but definitely not least is the Chanel 19, the super coveted puffer bag from 2019 going on strong in 2020. So this bag is one of my most use as in like it's a bag that i really think about reaching all the time especially since i didn't really have it for that long i only bought it in december so i really just had it for three months before the lockdown happened uh that is why you know i really didn't have that much uh time to use it but every time i reach for a bag i think about using a bag i just want to go for this one because it's so beautiful this one is still pretty roomy uh, it is a little bit more roomy than the medium large very similar to the jumbo actually because of its structure uh, it's a lot more flexible than the classic flap um, my version is in the lambskin i always get asked it depends on the season basically when i got mine which is the second season that they came out again um because i think this one came out in fall winter and then i got it in cruise basically so um it was still in lambskin in the small size but i think the current one is in goat skin it doesn't really matter they don't always make it in lamb and they don't always make it in gold it just depends on the season so yeah really love this bag love the big thick chain in the front makes it super modern but still looks vintage at the same time I have a pair of earrings that has very similar chains and they look amazing together the back has this large pocket that you can just easily slip anything inside I love a good large back pocket and then on the inside it's lined in fabric in this beautiful red color 
I currently have an organizer inside, but it is in red color. At least mine is. Um, yeah, just one of the best sort of newer bags from Chanel. Um, aside from, I guess, the hype or whatever, um, it really is one of the best bags. I don't know how to explain it. It's kind of like the Gabrielle. It's just one of the best bags for me. And that pretty much sums up my best five, not best, but five most used and five least used luxury handbags of the past year or so just because um, I always get asked about what's your most used one, what's your least used one it's not necessarily the best purchase or the worst purchases it's kind of different, it's kind of more like how often and how much I always want to reach for or don't want to reach for I hope that you guys enjoyed this video if you're brand new to my channel, I would love to have you back please do consider subscribing and if you love my content or if you enjoy this video please smash that like button because it really helps me out and I would really appreciate it thank you so much have a great day or week ahead of you and I'll talk to you again very soon bye